Hola mi gente and welcome to the Freakin' Rican Restaurant channel. Today we're going to be making fried red snapper, better known in Spanish as Pargo Frito. So I am today showing you with two um, red snappers. Okay, so this is the fish. I have my cutting board, which is especially for fish. Um, in the restaurant business, you have color-coded boards. So uh, the blue is for fish, okay? And here, what we're gonna do is basically, we're gonna cut off the fins, the tail, we're gonna cut off anything that will basically hurt us um, when trying to eat it or trying to season it. So if you're gonna season this without cutting the fins, you're going to um, poke yourself and it's pretty painful. So here I have a scissor, especially um, for fish or chicken. And what we're gonna do is we're just going to cut this off just like so. Okay, so that way when we go to season, we're not gonna hurt ourselves. Okay, we're gonna cut off the tail, just like that. Okay, we're going to cut here. So if you don't have um, one of these scissors that is made for cooking, so if you don't have these scissors, um, Basically, hopefully you have um, some really good scissors at home and it will do the same job for you, but they, they have to be sharp, okay? Um, so you're basically cutting off all of this, okay? Just like that. Really super, super simple. This one is off. Again, um, I'm so happy that you guys enjoyed the Trifongo video. Um, I have a feeling it's gonna go viral. Um, so I'm super, super excited. I've missed you guys so much. Um, it's just, this takes a lot out of me to come on my days off and record because usually I just, all I wanna do is rest. But, um, but here I am because I do enjoy it. Um, so now I'm gonna get my knives and basically I'm gonna cut three lines on each side. Um, and I'm gonna show you how to season it. So let me work on this one and um, I'll be back So here we are our little fishies they are ready Hi, you're gonna eat me anyway, okay, so I'm gonna just cut three lines on each side Okay, it doesn't matter how you cut it um, That's just so that you get some seasoning up in there and it's just gonna make it taste that much better, okay? Um, this you could season, let's say, today to eat for tomorrow. Um, just make sure that you put ice over it because it is fish. So if you're gonna store it in the fridge, it should always have ice, okay? And um, here we are, we have our little mixing bowl. So um, I'm gonna put them there. I'm just gonna make sure that I cut everything because um, trust me, I've done this so many times that uh, you end up pujandote, uh, you know, and then you start bleeding. It's really not, not the look. Okay, we have a lemon here. Okay, so I'm gonna slice the lemon in half. Um, you could use a whole lemon. Uh, right now, I am gonna use the whole lemon. You can use half of the lemon. So there you go. I'm just gonna squeeze in this lemon. Give it a good bañito. Just like that. How our moms used to bañano in el fregadero. This is exactly how I'm doing to these little babies. Okay, there you go. I'm not going to um, pour water because I want the lemon to stay on them because it's gonna act as a good binder for the seasoning, okay? So what I am gonna do now though is lay them on the cutting board, okay? And I'm gonna rinse out this bowl 
I'm going to put them back in the bowl and then season them. And so now I have dumped out the lemon and what I rinsed, uh, the juice basically that I rinsed off the fish. Okay, so now I'm going to just lay the fish um, in the bowl again. Keep in mind, I did wash them before cutting um, the fins off, okay? And now what I'm going to do is just go on to start seasoning it. Okay, so we already used the lemon. Um, I could have left the juice, the lemon juice, and seasoned it, but then the only thing that would happen is that all of the seasonings would be on the juice. So I want the seasoning to be straight on the fish so the fish comes out more flavorful. So that is why I dumped out um, the juice of the lemon, okay? And here I have a half a teaspoon of salt, um, a quarter teaspoon of the freaking Rican Sasson, a quarter teaspoon of the freaking Rican Adobo. Okay, and we're basically just going to pour this in like this. Okay. Okay, because the fish has bones. So we want the fish to come out nice and flavorful. So we're adding a little bit more salt to it. Uh, we have three tablespoons of minced garlic. So you want to always use fresh garlic and mince it. Okay, so I'm going to throw that in there. Okay. I also have three tablespoons of the freaking reekin sofrito there's nothing nothing like our sofrito our sofrito is green you see the rich green color this is how us latinos us puerto Ricanos, make our sofrito okay so there you go you have that and to finish it off we have five tablespoons of achote okay again um, you could look for our video on how to make achote oil. This is going to give it, um, this is going to give it a nice color. And this also will help mix everything in, um, to, uh, to mix the seasonings. Okay. So now I'm going to put my gloves on again and we're going to give it a nice stir. And then we're ready to fry. It's really super, super easy. Um, you want to make sure that your oil is at 350 degrees um, and you'll only fry it for a couple minutes, okay? So, you want to come over here. I don't want to dirty up my uh, sweater. So, all you're going to do is just rub everything. And again, you could leave this for the next day. Anything that you leave for the next day is going to taste that much better, okay? So there you go. You see, you want to really rub it in there. Get all the seasonings. And you have, you know, you have some guests over or, you know, just cooking for the husband, for the wife. You know, it's going to taste amazing. Okay, you want to put some in there. Uh, see me more. Yep. And then... You know, leave it if you can't season it the day before and you want to cook it now. At least, you know, wait a good half an hour. Um, you could put it in a Ziploc bag and then just put some ice on top of it. So you keep it uh, nice and fresh, okay? See, I try to put a lot in there so it gets the seasoning, okay? So we're going to leave this like this. For about half an hour, I'm gonna put some ice on it and um, and I'll show you how to fry it. Okay, so you guys have to remember, I am at the restaurant, so I'm gonna put the red snapper in a fryer. All you need to do is get um, one of your frying pans. You wanna preferably get one that is deep, okay? So it could possibly cover the whole fish, if not at least half of it, okay? So at home, this will probably probably take you about five, six minutes, 
Um, uh, so yeah, so I'm gonna just throw it into the fryer, just like that. I'm gonna take off some of this garlic, okay? I'm gonna put it in the basket. I'm making two, cause I'm going to eat one now, and I'm gonna have one for lunch tomorrow. So there you go. Okay, I'm gonna put that in, take off my gloves here, and put down the basket, okay? Okay, so it's been about a good two, three minutes, okay? So what I wanna show you here is, how do you know when the red snapper is done? Okay, so what you, see I make these slices so that you could just bend it, and you bend it and you see what you wanna see is white. Obviously you see the darkness cause it, it's being fried, but close to the bone there, you see a little like fleshy color. So that means it's still not ready. So I'm gonna give it a, another two minutes. So in total it's gonna be about, again, four or five minutes. Um, if you're doing it in a pan, which I'm assuming so, unless you have, you know, a deep, uh, one of those deep small fryers at home, um, you'll do it two minutes on one side, two minutes on the other side, and then just bend it like that, and it shouldn't look fleshy. You want the white color, okay? So I'm gonna put this down for another two minutes, and it also depends if you want it a little more crunchy, how you like your fish, okay? So I like my fish well done. Um, so I'm going to give it about two more minutes and I'm going to show you again. So now I took it out and it is exactly how I like it. I like my fish crunchy, but if you look here, let me get you where there's a little bit more light. You see that is nice and white. Okay. It is absolutely not fleshy whatsoever. So that's what you want to look for. Okay. So now I'm going to plate this up. And then it is going to be the time, you know what time, it's going to be the time to taste. I'm actually making some tostones to go with it. So I'm going to have some tostones, mojo sauce, which I showed you guys uh, how to do. And, um, and some fish with a little mango hot sauce. I, I started making this mango hot sauce for the restaurant. You, you put it on your tongue, it's like, oof. But then it's like, ooh, wow. I like this. So I'm gonna have some mango hot sauce with it too. So now it is the time to taste. Mira eso. Some tostones, some mango hot sauce, a little lemon, I'm gonna squirt my lemon. Mmm, -hmm. yes. A nice, easy meal. Um, guys, I'm gonna go in with my fingers, okay? Don't start chewing me up, okay? Mmm. See, it's nice. Nicely cooked. I'm gonna try it like this and then with the hot sauce, okay? Mmm. It's so perfect. No está salado. It has the right amount of taste. Delicious. I'm going to put it into a little mango hot sauce. Woo! <laughs> it's spicy, I'm telling you. <laughs> but then it calms down, you know? But it's so good. People are coming to buy this mango hot sauce like crazy because it does. It gives you like a nice kick, but then it mellows out and it's actually nice and sweet. So um, let me have another piece of this, okay? Mm. No top Tony. Oh my god. Mm. Wow, that tostones was the perfect pair. And that was Victor's suggestion. He was like, how are you gonna just make the fish by itself? Make some tostones. Y te digo, sabroso, sabroso, sabroso. 
So, <clears throat> I hope you enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up, okay? Give it a like. Share it with your friends. Um, it's super, super easy to make. Um, if you're in the New York City area, always pop in. You know, I'm always in the restaurant. You could always tell them, can I see the freaking weekend? And I will try my best to get out of the kitchen and go and say hi. Um, we're located at 4306 34th Avenue. If you can't afford to dine out, I give you my recipes, okay? So you can make it at home. I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching. Um, if you want hats, mugs, knives, anything you want, you can check on the website. Um, and Victor is making faces. <laughs> okay. He's saying, don't forget to subscribe, okay? So you're gonna click that bell so you can be notified of up and coming videos. And thank you guys so, so much. I'm gonna sign off again by saying, la vida es mejor. ¿Con qué? Con un buen sabor. Mmm, mmm. Mmm. Ay, qué delicia.